Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Show you how we made this designer bomber jacket. The first step when we start sewing is to attach the bat to the fabric. So you want to place it on it and you want to sew round just to attach. You just want to do as close to the edge as possible. The purpose is just to attach this to the bit to the bat. If you like, you can also pin it down with your pins. You can pin it together so that it's not shifting. You do this also to the front parts. You take the bat for the front and you do the same thing. You place this and you and you sew it around the same way. Alternatively, if you don't want to first stitch this on the edges, you can decide to pin them together to the bat and then doing right side to right side, you take the other two parts that are the front parts, you lay it like right side to right side, like so. And you can now go ahead and join it at the shoulder like that and also join it at the side and you do the same on the other side of the jacket you join the shoulder and you join the side now if you did it the other way that i suggested at first meaning if you had sewn the back to the fabric what you need to do is simply Place them right side to right side like that with your button showing on the top and you go ahead and you do exact same thing as I've just described. You sew along the edges of the shoulder and you also sew on the side. And next you want to sew the sides. So after I joined the batting and turned it, this is what it's looking like. That's the front, this is the back. Next, I'm going to start working on the sleeve. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to run gathered stitch all around this middle circle. I'm going to do that for both of the sleeves. And then I'm going to start aligning it to these pieces that I have here. So I have got a stitch around this and I also sew the edges of the circle sleeve. So what is going to happen next is I'm going to join the first part of my sleeve I'm gonna join it just like that all the way down because this is where my circle sleeve is going to be in before I join the remaining parts and I'm gonna put the next circle before I join this lower part now this edge has been joined so we're going to turn it And then we're going to take our circle sleeve and we're going to pass the sleeve, the straight sleeve, we're going to pass it through as such. And we're going to align this. You can pin it if that works better for you. We're going to align it like that. I will sew it all across so that we're gonna have a first belt sleeve layer, the first tear of the belt sleeve. Now the next part of the sleeve has also been joined at the sides and what we're gonna do is we're going to be joining it to this. So you must Make sure you note 
where you have the widest part of this piece this is shorter this is going towards the end of the sleeve this is wider so if you turn this inside out this is also going to be matched the wider part you want to make sure you check to see where the wider part is so this is also going to be turned and matched with this other part of the sleeve so you have to place it like so you turn it inside out you see how we have right side facing right side this is also the right side so we're going to match it together like that so I would advise that you first do the bell sleeve portion you first attach that before you now put this and you sew this all around now that this is joined to place this look for the bigger side the longest side this is shorter so this is what we need to align here so you must be careful to make sure that the part that is open the seam we want to align that to the seam here And this is going to go in such that we have it going in as right side to right side. Can you use a pin to hold it in place? I want to make sure that the seams match. And then you go ahead and sew this all across okay so this part is now joined so this is how it looks next is to add this circle sleeve just the same thing we did right here on top is what we're gonna do down here so we're just going to add this circle sleeve we're gonna mash it we're gonna pin them together just like we did at first you may need to pull your gathers to pull more gathers if it's too if the circle is too wide you draw the gathers in some more so we're going to attach this all around then after we do that the final stage is going to attach is going to be to attach the last part of the sleeve so this has been sewn on the side so to do that it's just the same process we're going to turn it and we're going to match it making sure that the seam corresponds to the side of the sleeve and then we're going to do it in a way that we turn it so that this is facing this way and we're going to sew it all around this is what it looks like so far so the last part is to join this part right here we're going to be joining this so that we hand off with what looks like this and then we'll have to put our ribbed knit fabric at the end of it for the wrist so now what we're going to do next again we need to make sure that we match the side of the sleeve so we want to go by the seam and make sure the seam align this may be a little tricky but you just have to manipulate it any way you can Okay, so this is just completed now. I just sewed this all around. We're gonna turn it to see what we have. So this is what the sleeve is looking 
like right now. So that's one sleeve complete, completed. So we're gonna work on the second sleeve and do exactly the same process with the second sleeve. Using the same technique I showed you earlier, I cut a lining for the sleeve, but I'm using the exact um, 19 and a half inches that we need here because we're not cutting the lining to rejoin it. So we're just gonna make the 19 and a half inches before we join our sleeves, before we join the rib knit part of the sleeve. So I'm gonna just make one more exactly like this using this one as a template. Now we're going to work on the wrist of the jacket. And our sleeve round at that point is eight inches. So we need nine inches length for each jacket for each wrist for each sleeve we need nine inches so i'm going to double it i need to double it like so and i need a length of three inches this way plus half inch for my sewing allowance so I'm going to need three and a half inches. So I have my three and a half inches this way. So altogether I need to cut out nine inches. I'm going to cut one more. Since we have two sleeves, next I'm going to go to my sewing machine. This is the rib knit. I'm opening it up. This is the right side. I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew this across like that now that the side is joined i'm just going to turn this inside out like that so that it folds over with the right side out so this is what i'm going to be joining to my sleeve now now i'm going to go to my sleeve I'm going to let the same area, the joining area match up to where I have the joining on the, on the sleeve. And I'm going to open that up over here as well. I'm going to open up the seam. I'm just going to turn this over like that. So now I'm going to pin this in place. Stitch the rib knit to the sleeves. So you're just going to join this. And that completes a sleeve. So this has been joined all around. And that is what a sleeve looks like. So again, we'll just do exactly the same thing to the other side, the other sleeve. And then we'll join them to the body of the jacket. Next is to join the sleeve to the MO on both sides. I have both sleeves completed now, so I'm going to be joining them to the MO. The sleeves are attached. This is what they look like. 
next we fold in the part that we left for the zipper as such can pin it next thing we want to measure the neckline we measure the neckline take the ribbed knit and we want to measure for the neckline We need the 16.25 and we need this to be 3 inches wide. About 3, between 3 and 4 inches wide. This is good. So I'm going to do 16.25. Next, I'm going to shape it. I'm going to give it a curve like that. Now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and we're going to sew this all across like that. You can pin it if you want to. I'm going to sew this all across. Now we're going to pin this across. Just be careful when you do this part. So we're going to pin it all across the edge. This is what it looks like after we pin it. So now we're going to go to the sewing machine and sew it all. This is the Nika face fixed. Next, we're going to measure the lower part of the jacket all round and we'll cut the rib knit fabric for the lower part of the jacket. So we now cut this. Next, we open it up and we're going to now sew on the sides. We're going to sew this side across and we're going to sew this side across. Now we turn this after we sew the sides. I want to turn now we're going to come here and pin this all across the lower part of the jacket now that I've pinned this like so I'm now going to go to the sewing machine and sew this all across like that I'm gonna be sewing it so that this is what we're going to have after I finish sewing this now we're going to start working on the lining and we're just going to be repeating the same thing we're going to attach the 
front to the back just the same thing we did for the jacket when we started to put this together so we're going to attach the front to the back by sewing it at the shoulder and after that we'll add the sleeve we'll just go ahead and work on it like a normal top and then I'll show you the next step next we're going to have the separating zipper We just need to pin it to the jacket first. So this is how the zipper looks like after I've pinned it but it's best to open it when you're ready to start sewing so we'll just open it so this is what we're going to have now we're going to prepare the lining and put that inside the jacket as well. here is the lining piece that i've made just exactly the same way we made the jacket so now i'm gonna flip this inside out and I'm going to insert it in the jacket. I'm going to pull one end out. I'm going to pull the sleeve out so that it just holds on to it. And now I'm going to pin this. To the jacket before we go ahead to sew it i'm gonna be pinning this to the jacket and i'll show you what it looks like once that is done so to pin it we just want to fold this in a little we fold this in and we align it with the jacket and then we just begin to pin it so that's what we're going to be doing when we are done with this side we're going to come over to where we have the zipper and I'm going to fold this in as well and I'm going to align it to where the zipper is and I will repin it this will be folded in already and then I'll fold this part in and repin it with where I have the zipper like so this is how it looks after it's been pinned so now I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and I'm gonna run straight stitches all across this is the neckline. I'm going to run my straight stitches all across this. And then I'll come back to finish it up at the sleeve. I'll finish up the lining, the sleeve lining. And now this jacket is almost finished. This is done. This is a zipper. The inside is done already. So the last thing is a sleeve. I'm just going to pull this out. And what we're going to do is turn in the seam, turn in the edges a little like that. I'm going to align the same area I'm gonna turn it in and pin it down there so I'm pinning this right here I'm gonna pin this all around the wrist area 
and I'm going to do the same to the second sleeve and I'll go to the sewing machine and I will just stitch this all around this wrist and that will conclude a bomber jacket I'll do likewise on the second sleeve and then I'll sew it. The sleeves are done. They are now attached to the lining. So that concludes our bomber jacket. I'll show you how it looks. The full picture of it so you can see better that's what it looks this is the back of it there you go i hope you like what you've seen if you do please give this video a thumbs up and please share this video if you know that it will help somebody else and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please remember to subscribe to the channel and to click on the bell icon so you can get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up and share it. Thank you.